hello students welcome back to all so in this video i'm going to explain about the hydrocyclic compounds right so here there are number of compounds are given so let us see what is the use of this hydrocyclic compounds the hydrocyclic compounds are so many types are there mainly they are widely distributed in nature some of the hydrocyclic compounds were for example take some compounds they were artificially synthetically obtained and they are naturally obtained some compounds are synthetically prepared so these hydrocyclic compounds are generally used in pharmacological uh, products active and find applications they are, these are generally used as drugs and dye stuffs and as polymers and these are also useful in insecticides and pesticides so these are all the uses of the heterocyclic compounds fungicides and herbicides and also adhesives so what are the uh, uses of heterocyclic compounds mean there is a long list they are used as drugs and dye stuffs polymers insecticides pesticides and fungicides herbicides and adhesives so these are the uses of the heterocyclic compounds and now in this video we are going to discuss about the five membered heterocyclic compounds so the five membered heterocyclic compounds these five membered heterocyclic compounds generally may be considered as the derivatives of pyrrole furon and thiophene so if you observe here what is the pyrrole what is the furon first so this is the furon so this is the five membered ring and uh, the second one is called pyrrole this is also five membered ring and thiophen and this is also five member ring so if suppose when a n functional is replaces with ch groups in the first and second position of furon if suppose the first and second position of furon and pyrrole and thiophen is changing then it forms azoles so the furon will be converted into isoxazole which means this is the first and second position at the second position there is there is a functional group n so in the pyrrole in the second position if n is added here n function is added is then it is called pyrazole in the in the case of thiophen if n function is added in the second position it is called isothiazole if suppose in the similar way if the function n is replaced in the third position for example this is first second and third position so this is third position so this is second position in this case so here third position then it is called oxazole which means oxazoles and isoxazoles are the derivatives of furon so when you know about the furon then you will find what is isoxazole and oxazole in the same way in the second case also the pyrazole and imidazole so these two are the heterocyclic five membered compounds which are also obtained if the n function is replaced in the second position then it is called pyrazole and if it is replaced in the first second and third position then it is called imidazole so imidazole and pyrazole are the derivatives of pyrrole in the same way the thiophen is this is the thiophen if the n function is substituted or uh, replaced in the second position this is called isothiazole and if it is replaced in the third position first second and third position this is called thiazole so here we are today we are going to discuss about these 
heterocyclic compounds which are containing two hetero atoms so furon from furon isoxazol and oxazoles are derived and from the pyrrole pyrazol and imidazole is derived and from the thiophene isothiazole and thiazole will be derived so we have to know one by one so first today class we are going to discuss about isoxazole so already we know isoxazole it is derived from the furon and it is a five membered heterocyclic ring at the second position n function is substituted so this is isoxazole so first in today video we are going to discuss about this isoxazole's reaction how what are the reactions of this isoxazole what are the chemical reaction how it react with the other compounds so first the reaction of electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution so this electrophilic substitution generally isoxazole is a weak base so that is why it undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction more readily than pyridine but less ready than furon which means because of this uh, uh, low basicity nature it can more readily react in the electrophilic substitution reaction than pyridine but less than the furon and now let us see how the electrophilic substitution of isoxazole will takes place so this is isoxazole so this is isoxazole this isoxazoles electrophilic substitution of this isoxazole reaction always takes in the fourth position which means for example it if you suppose it is reacting with the chlorine so chlorination will takes place then there forms this is called four chloro isoxazole so the first reaction is called chlorination which means the chlorination of isoxazole gives four chloro isoxazole so if you observe here this is the fourth position 1 2 3 4 at the fourth position the chlorination will obtain so at the fourth position we get four chloro isoxazole so this is the first reaction and let us see the second reaction so the second reaction is called bromination and how the bromination will takes place so this bromination will takes place with nbs and bromine so again we get four bromo isoxazole which means the electrophilic substitution of isoxazole will takes place at the fourth position only so this is called four bromo isoxazole so here what is nbs here nbs means this is called n bromo sikinamai or bromine in presence of borane or nbs bromine or nbs the bromination will takes place the isoxazole and it gives four bromo isoxazole and let us see the next one the third one is called nitration so nitration of isoxazole generally gives so this is nitrate isoxazole it is reacting with the hno3 or and h2so4 so so the by nitration we get no2 which means this is called four nitro isoxazole which means the nitration also takes place at the fourth position so the four nitro isoxazole is obtained on nitration with concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 how the nitration of isoxazole takes place means the isoxazole reacting with the concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 we get four nitro isoxazole and finally the fourth reaction so the reaction with the oleum so other words you may call it as fuming sulfuric acid 
so reaction of isoxazole with oleum it gives isoxazole 4 sulfonic acid which means it is also obtained at the fourth position at fourth position hso3s we get this compound name we call it as isoxazole 4 sulfonic acid so reaction of isoxazole with oleum gives 4 sulfonic acid isoxazole so this is the reactions of what you call isoxazole electrophilic substitution reactions of isoxazole what we have discussed in today class so today we are we are discussing about the heterocyclic compounds how the isoxazoles and oxazoles are formed from furon and pyrazole and imidazole from pyrrole and isothiazole and thiazole from thiophene and the next we are discussing about we discussed about the uses of heterocyclic compounds and now isoxazole the reactions of electrophilic substitution reactions of isoxazole first chlorination bromination and nitration and sulfation so this is today's class and next we will discuss some more topics regarding this lesson if you like my video please share and subscribe my channel